Okay, we've got confirmation from Google that we are live. We are live for a little bit of a pregame show, about nine minutes worth. And let's see if I can find this video on my trusty iPad. There it is. And okay. okay, and Stig's in the house. Stig's in the house early for the pregame show. He was way early at 4.38 p.m. And hopefully notifications will go out and hopefully some folks will pop in early. And I've got the little treasury bug in the upper right-hand corner there, and that is where I purchased that uh, 231 stunner. That uh, is the SBGA231, SBGA231, and I've got links to a page on my website where I talk all about Grand Seiko watches and why they're sublime and why I, after 40 years of wearing Rolexes, transitioned over to... That puppy and this puppy on wrist. This is the 002 on wrist. And there she blows. And I'll tell you what. Look at that. Look at that second hand just marching around the dial there. Just smoothing around. Absolutely stunning. Look at that that black polish. That that's amazing. The 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 finish on that watch. Absolutely amazing. <clears throat> And I'm sorry, Patek Philippe, Vacheron, nobody can touch it. Nobody can touch that puppy. That's right. That's just the way it is. And today we may be joined by the lovely Lady Brianna. And we're going to discuss a couple of things. And one of which will be these boots that are right over here. And let's see. If I move them a little closer, it won't be blocked. There we go. That way they're not blocked by that cable. And you can see them there in the distance. Let me grab one and give you a close-up. Give you a close-up of that stunner. And what is really unique about these, you can see the, the texture to that leather on the shaft portion here. That is also ostrich. And so the, the bottom is full quill, what they call full quill ostrich, where you see the quills from the feathers. And then the upper part is part of the ostrich hide that does not have the quills. And so this is what makes these pretty rare. Most ostrich boots that you see by Lucchese and by other makers, only the bottom part is, is uh, ostrich. And the upper part is usually like calfskin or something. So these are pretty rare. And I did find a pair on the Lucchese website, and I put a link in the description, a pair of men's that are similar to this. And they're, I think, about $1,600. Uh, so, but these can range upwards to $2,500, $3,000, depending on where and when they're purchased. And these are the, the uh, classics, uh, Lucchese classics grade, which is their higher grade of shoe. So there you go. And by the way, you can see in the bottom, see the pegs, the wooden pegs? See how they, they hold that together with two rows of wooden pegs? Let's see if I can give you a close-up of that. See that? And so there's a lot of hand work that goes into producing a pair of these boots. A lot of, lot of hand work. And if you just look at the, the stitching, the consistency of it, and how tight the stitching is, and just as you study these and you study the details, you understand why these are at a whole nother level of construction and quality. And one other thing I do want to touch base on is with regard to sizing, and I just learned this recently. You know, you learn something new every day, right? If you... If you look at men's boots like this, let's say you've got a size 10D boot. That tells you that that is a men's size because the D width is typically the medium width. On a woman's shoe, that boot there is an 8B as in boy. And that is the medium width and a woman's boot in a Lucchese. And so if you see a shoe that's a, a certain size and it says B, it's a lady's size. If it says D, it's a men's size. 
And so that's a little distinction that, that, that I didn't know because sometimes these things are mistagged somewhere. We'll have a pair of them for sale and they'll say that it's, it's a lady's 7.5D. Well, that, that ain't right. If it's a 7.5D, that's a man's boot. Okay, so just, just uh, food for thought on, on sizing. As if we didn't have enough tri trick bags with European sizing <laughs> being different than, for example, if you have a, 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 a pair of church's uh, dress shoes made in England, they're going to be 10.5D, right? And that's about the same as an 11D US, right? So as if things weren't confusing enough, we have this confusion with, um, with, uh, with, with uh, shoes. Oh yeah, these 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 smell like leather. They, mm, they just smell fantastic. They're just super super nice, super nice all the way around. These were pretty much in in um, in mint condition all the way down to the liners and everything. Uh, quite a uh, pair of boots. And what's neat about those is if you take good care of them, they will last. They will hold up if you rotate your shoes. <clears throat> if you get high quality shoes and or boots and you rotate them, in other words, you don't wear the same boot day after day, right? Give it time to breathe and so on. You wear nice socks with it. Of course, you've got to clean your feet. You've got to, you know, you can't have <laughs> nasty feet, right? Uh, so... Uh, if you if you take proper care of your boots and or shoes, they'll never get odors. They will hold up a long time, literally generations if they're high quality, right? If you maintain them properly. And you can get many, many years of use. I have uh, several pair of shoes that I've shared here on the channel that are literally decades old that are still in fantastic condition and I wear them all the time. And they're literally decades upon decades old. So there you go. That's how you can do that. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Stig's in the house. <laughs> Mike, Mike, Mike got, got timed out by Carlos. He was misbehaving a little bit. Um, he was being a bad boy. He had to get hit by the wrench. He might get blocked. So that's how that might work. Uh, Stig's in the house, and he says, Hello, Lady Brianna, you are early, and I wish I could address you in Spanish, but I only speak French, so I shall leave that to Carlos. There you go. Well, we've got to get the Lady Brianna to study French also. I think she should learn how to speak French. I think that makes a lot of sense, so maybe she can, you, you two can work on that. Um, and Kevin D. says he sent an email of a new release from GS, if it was spring drive and not 13 millimeter thick, I would pursue it. <laughs> yeah, if, if if was a fifth, we'd all be drunk. My, an old Marine Corps buddy of mine used to say that. Carlos is in the house. Lord Stig has spoken. Okay, let's look at this email. Let's look at this email and see what we've got. <clears throat> By the way, this shirt has a little bit of purple in it. Let me show you a close-up of the fabric. A little bit of purple in it to honor the lovely Lady Brianna. Oh, by the way, we're going to put her bug up here in a minute. We're going to put her bug up in a minute. Oh, yeah, this is this is a nice-looking piece. I think we've... We may have talked about this before. I think Steve actually talked about this limited-edition piece. It's an interesting piece. Again, I would rather have the spring drive personally. I like the looks of this watch. But for me, I'd rather go with one of their spring drive spring drive models. Okay, what we're going to do now is we are going to change the bug. We're going to change the bug to the lovely Lady Brianna's bug since we are talking about her boots anyway. We're talking about her boots. We might as well put her bug up. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? We've got her bug up. The lovely Lady Brianna's bug up. Okay, let me let me do this. I want to stagger this window. I got to make sure that Skype is up. I don't know where, where's where's Skype. Oh, there it is. There's Skype. All right, so Skype is ready to go. And let's see what else we got going on here. 
Uh, okay, we are caught up on the chat, and it is officially showtime. It's 5 o'clock. Check, take a look at that. Take a look at that. 501 on that watch. Now, now here's the thing. That watch has, let's see, since November, when did I, wait, when was spring, when was daylight savings time? Was it April? So I think I have gained, hmm, let's see, that says 5129. I think I've gained six or seven seconds. I don't know. We have to do an official check here and see i can't put the side by side uh let's see when this is when this is straight up i'm going to tell you here in a second here when this is straight up remember there's a delay on the broadcast so this will be o2 is right there okay so i'm about about four and a half, maybe five seconds fast. I just, I just checked it. You'll have to take my word for it. I'm about four and a half, five seconds fast since daylight savings time changed. So that's not bad. Okay. Um, oh, I, it looks like um, the lovely Bree put some French in the chat. All right. There you go. By the way, you can Skype in at any time that you're ready. Uh, Lady Bree, and then we can talk about these boots, and then and then we can let you get back to what you normally normally scheduled programming. And because I know you're very very busy, very very busy, and it's beautiful outside, I'm going to go out again myself. I'm going to. This is probably not going to be a full hour long broadcast. One reason why I started a little bit early is uh, I'm probably going to stop probably going to wrap up early too because it's just too nice a day outside i had a about a two and a half hour walk earlier and it was very enjoyable i was listening to a podcast by the way it looks like uh, bitcoin is trying to close that that futures that cme futures gap it's trying to go down i think it's got to go down to 9600 to close that gap and it looks like it's trying to do it now it's back over 10,000, but it dipped, dipped, it dipped below. It was down to 99.46. Now it's at 10,033. So it's flirting with the 10,000 foot, $10,000 level. And so the question is, how low will it go? Where will the bottom be? I'm probably going to buy some more on Monday, Monday or Tuesday, if I can figure out where the bottom is. It's hard to, hard to guess, hard to know for sure, but I'm going to try to do some bottom fishing. And Carlos is in the house, and uh, let's see. <clears throat> he says, Bree, you would love Denmark, at least in the summer. Well, there you go. Is it beautiful weather for dancing? She'd like it. And I assume part of autumn and spring. Uh, let's see. Um, Yeah, we're coming into the time of the year here in Maryland where you get some beautiful weather, beautiful weather in the fall. And we're going to start getting some cool days, though, too. It's going to start cooling down. And before we know it, we'll have the cold stuff coming in, but not terribly cold. The winters, the last few winters have not been that bad. The first time I've spent winters up here in years has been the last couple of winters before I always spent the winter down in Florida. But Thanks to global warming, it's, it's a little milder now, so not as big a problem. So, okay, let me see if I can find, uh, share a link here while we're waiting, while we are standing by. I'm going to share a link, minimize the switcher here, and let me go in here and say... Edit. Um, okay, give me a second here. And I will show, just because I can, I will show the, um, the pair that I found. And again, these are men's. 
these are men's because I couldn't find any ladies at all. <clears throat> but these are, are currently available. And uh, they're $1,525. And these are black cherry. So these are the same color. And these are full quill ostrich on the, on the bottom. And ostrich, smooth ostrich on the shaft. So these are very, very similar boots. And it says you have to call. If you would like to purchase this boot or any other classics style, please call our customer te care team at blah, blah, blah. I guess they're special order. And so, so there you go. There is, there is the current boot on the Lucchese website, but only in the men's section. They do not show this boot in the women's section. So uh, I guess you just have to special order them if you're a lady and talk nice to them and then maybe they will they will build a pair a pair um uh, let's see chi town says hi craig uh big heat wave in southern california 110 degrees in los angeles today holy corolla oh, wow that's insane it was very mild here very nice today i think it was like 55 degrees this morning uh but I'm up here on the mountain a little bit, so it gets a little cooler. But it was beautiful. I was out walking, uh, like I say, for two, two and a half hours. And very, very nice here. Very pleasant. Not not humid. Maybe in the 70s. Tomorrow it's supposed to be the low 80s. So, yeah, no no real problem here with the weather. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Let's do another time check here. And... Go back here, and I'm going to cancel this. Okay, and then I showed the I showed this photo yesterday. This was a photo that I took of these boots, but I've I've since polished them up a little bit more, done a little detailing on them since I took that photo. So uh, I think they look even they look even a little bit better now. And this is a this is an interesting color. I I I kind of like the dark. They call this dark cherry. And you can use black polish on them to polish them. And I used a little bit of black polish on the on the toe here and on the heel area the heel area and it just gives it a nice gives it a very rich very rich look. These would look very nice with a pair of jeans, a pair of blue jeans. Would look fine with khakis and of course girls can wear these with shorts guys would look kind of funny right but girls can wear these with shorts they do it all the time even with a skirt i've seen them wear boots like this looks really really nice on a lady and makes her two inches taller so there you go they like that too hmm these smell nice <laughs> There's nothing. And I'll tell you what, here's the other thing about this is we run into this situation with items that are hard to get. Sometimes you have to search things out and sometimes you have to be patient. It'll probably take a year to find another pair of boots like this, right? I mean, I, I save searches on eBay for different things that are hard to find. And then I'll get a notification, I'll get an email if something gets listed that matches that criteria. Like I still have a saved search in there for size 36 alligator belt, right, that I put in when I was demonstrating on the channel here how to, how to do that. And, and most, of the, most of the ticklers you get, you'll get an email that something was listed, and most of the items are like garbage, right? You just immediately delete it. It's like, you know, garbage, right? But occasionally you get lucky and it's something that's a real gem that you can snag. And, but you have to be patient and you have to act fast. If it's something that is of really high quality and, and rare and desirable, you've got to act fast because somebody's going to jump on that. If it's, a, if it's a good buy it now price, I'm not talking about if it's an auction. If it's an auction item, that's a competitive situation. And again, you can bid on it, but it's probably going to go high. But if somebody... 
put something in at a buy it now price and and they don't really know what they have and they've priced it really reasonably you've got to jump on that quick because it will sell very fast so when you get that email saying that sucker's listed you better pop on it uh let's see um <clears throat> enjoying the heat wave kyle And Stig says, Lady Bianna, you are beyond words for a stunning lady. Compliments to, to, to Denmark. Let's stick. <laughs> there you go. It's hot, LOL. How is it in, uh, is that South Dakota or San Diego? I guess he's saying, I guess it's San Diego. I can't keep up with all you guys' abbreviations. Carlos is in the house. And uh, Cheetown says, congratulations to Tree. Uh, by the way, <clears throat> on the, the, uh, the faux pay bracelet, that's another example of a hard-to-find item, right? That uh, occasionally you'll see them on eBay, but usually they're not the 8 millimeter. Let me see if I can pull up an 8 millimeter here. Give me a second here. See if I can find one. Well, this is interesting. This is interesting. I'm going to pull up the image search here. And here's what the image search brought up, right? And not very many of them are the same style of the one the one with the um the one like Steve has. You see what I mean? These it's not it's not that common. None of these are the same style as his. I'm, I'm looking through all these. I did an image search on Google, right? None of them match his bracelet so far. None. And I did a, a search. I did a 8 millimeter. Oh, rope bracelet. Well, we don't want rope. I'm sorry. That was my problem. I misspelled. <laughs> my error, faux pay bracelet. Okay. All right. All right, now we're making progress. Okay, so uh, da, 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 da. let's see here. Uh, all right, so here's one. Okay, and size oh for crying out loud how do i select half of these websites are terrible okay length size medium <laughs> doesn't even let me select the length i don't know i give up i give up <laughs> anyway <laughs> that just goes to show you that proves my point i can't even find the 8 millimeter, 7.25 inch, yellow gold faux pay bracelet. That's all I wanted to do was, was size that out. And can't do it. Can't do it. So, yeah. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, it's 81 in Venice today. I hear Pasadena is about 110. There you go. I hope it's, I hope, I hope it's low humidity heat. <laughs> But still, at 110, that's going to be hot no matter what the humidity is, I would think. Carlos says, Be serve is an anti-social character. He refused to meet, try, in real life. Oh, really? Kyle's in the house. That's probably true. I stay near the beach if I can. Haha, <laughs> is that true, Carlos? Uh, in real life, okay. Yes. Um, and Kyle says, I remember that conversation in this chat. Uh, Kyle says, that's funny, but I think they both 
denied my invite to Williams Watch's Discord. Now they are both in there. Okay, gotcha. Well, oh, these people are shy. They don't want to meet in real life. Huh, that's interesting. All right, let me get the, uh, let me make sure I got Skype ready to go here because just in case the lovely Brian, Lady Bree calls in, get the Skype window all ready to go. And let's see here. Um, the Valley is probably the worst right now. Yeah, what, by the way, they say that pollution is a lot better because everything's shut down, right? <laughs> That's one way to fix the smog problem, right? Just shut everything down, ruin everybody's lives, <laughs> like ruin everybody's business. <laughs> and, you know, just like let people start living like it's the Stone Ages again, right? I think that's how that that's where they're headed with all of that. I uh somebody put a comment in um in one of the Rolex groups on Facebook and they were talking about how they weren't really that enamored with the new Oyster Perpetuals and they're not really impressed with they they said that um Rolex is no longer innovating and they uh they said that they're going to look at like Vacheron or, you know, the other options, right? And so I went in there. I said, well, or you could just step up to a Grand Seiko, right? <laughs> I started trolling them with with the Grand Seiko, with the 002, right? And I said, you could just step up to something that's far superior, right? And uh, that, uh, that got them going a little bit. So here's a close-up of the 002, the 002 Stunner. The 002 Stunner in real life. Actually, that's not real life, right? That's that's broadcast life. In live broadcast life. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, Cheetown says, My friend had clear skies on Bombay, India, and you can see Mount Everest in Delhi. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, uh, let's see. Stig says, have mercy on the Europeans. To me, in real life, means Ireland. Okay. Uh, Cheat Down says, Craig loves triggering the Euro snobs. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> I'll tell you what. It would be hard for one of those brands to, to top the 002. It, I, it really would. What do you think? I, the, 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 I know Kyle has seen one in person. What do you think about the, the, just just taking the visuals of this watch, right? The visuals of this watch on wrist. What do you think? Do you think it would be hard for like Vacheron or Patek or any of these high-end dress watch makes? Do you think it would be hard for them to top the 002? To just straight up top the 002? What do you think? Let me know in the chat. If you think I'm delusional on that, because I think it would be tough. I think it would be tough for them to do it. <clears throat> I think it would be tough for them to, to, to top the finishing, the shape of the case on the wrist, the way it lays on the wrist, the dial, my gosh, my goodness, the dial. And then don't, get, don't even get me started on the manual wind spring drive movement with 72-hour power reserve. And, of course, the... The uh, deployant clasp. Don't even don't even get me started on all of that. <clears throat> Let's take a look at that deployant clasp. Pretty freaking elegant, if you ask me. Pretty freaking elegant. Uh, let's see. Chi Town says honestly, when it comes to German cars. I don't know what there is to be snobbish about anymore. BMWs are all cheap and plastic now. And here's the other thing with cars. You know, I, I appraised a lot of antique and classic cars, and cars were a very similar thing to these, these boots, these stunners. Very similar thing to this. Occasionally, you would stumble across a car that was really something special. 
and it was garage kept, one owner, you know, maybe owned literally by a little old lady. Uh, and it would be something pretty fantastic, right? You'd stumble across it. And sometimes it was an older gentleman that owned it. Like I bought a uh, Series 3 Land Rover one time from a gentleman who bought it new. <clears throat> they were extremely rare. They, they, they didn't bring that many of them into this country. This was a U.S. model. And it was um, uh, garage kept. And he'd used it for hunting. He, he, I've shown you pictures of it before on the channel. And it sat in the garage. He took really good care of it. He passed away, and, and I got it from his estate. I think it had about 50,000 original miles on it when I got it. And it was just one of those rare situations where you, you don't see those that often, first of all, that are always garage kept, right? A lot of times they sit outside or, or whatever, and a lot of times they had mileage on them, more mileage. And, and so occasionally you stumble across something like that that you can snag, and, and it's just really something special. So um, Carlos says, 002 is much nicer on its original brown strap. <laughs> oh, gosh. You guys are going to troll me about the strap. I'll tell you, this thing pops with this black strap. It makes that gold just just pop with the brown it kind of mutes the the gold you don't get the see see how much it pops from the black it just makes the watch just just project out you know the the, the strap kind of just falls to the background and the and the watch itself just just pounces on the scene it's absolutely stunning so yeah there you go carlos um it could be interesting to swap the strap live. I got to be very, very careful when I swap the strap because I can easily scratch the case. Uh, and I really don't want to scratch. I, you know, I don't mind getting a scratch on the case through normal use. And, you know, it happens, it happens. But I'm not going to voluntarily uh, uh, take a strap tool to it and, and scratch it up uh, for no real no real gain. Uh, Kyle's in the house. They don't have anything better than the 002 in terms of aesthetics, in my opinion. Wow. Anything better. Wow. That's, that's pretty strong. And we respect Kyle's opinion because he's a classy guy. He's a classy guy. He's got credibility. He's got cred, man. He's got cred. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, Cheetown's in the house. What I like about Japanese brands is they can't fall back on brand names to excuse uh, cost cutting and lower quality. Unlike Louis Vuitton, BMW, and Rolex, you actually get what you pay for. And, you know, with a lot of things, you, you, especially in this day and age, you have to be careful because a lot of brands have fallen back on their brand name and have, the way I like to put it, have kind of sold out and kind of hoard out their, their brand name, where, you know, Polo was one of the first ones to do it, Ralph Lauren Polo. And, oh, let me answer this. This is the lovely Brie. Okay. Here we go. Okay, the lovely Brie is in the house. Thank you for calling in. No problem. Thank you. How, how are you? Me. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? G good. Good. You've got you got your hair kind of wet and relaxed a little bit. Yeah, because I just came from the pool, and I had to get like really ready like fast. Well, so. that's cool though. That's a good look. That's a different look. That's a kind of like a, a just out of the gym kind of you know like kind of cool re relaxed look. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Now let me grab the boot again. Here's here's the boot. Yeah, it's really nice. It's like purplish kind of. Yeah, like a like they call it black cherry. Black, black cherry. cherry. So yeah, it's got a little purple to it, which you like, right? And yeah, it's, really it's nice. a very classic design. Very very classic Lucchese. And what makes these really unique, and I think you'll find they're really comfortable, is this this ostrich is very soft and it's also ostrich 
on the shaft here, but it has right. a very nice texture to it. You see the texture? It has a very yep. nice texture to it. And you know, when they build these, they the reason they put all this fancy stitching on on here is that's what holds these upright. If you look at, at inexpensive cowboy boots, sometimes the shaft is flop it flops over when you don't have them on your foot. It doesn't stay straight. Oh right. right? And the and these stay like this because of the way they're constructed. And it's very soft leather inside, very, very soft. And I have I have two pairs of these. Um, actually I'll show mine. Wow. Here's a pair that are completely different, right? They're much lighter color, right? And, but the same thing. These are ostrich in the bottom and ostrich on the upper, right? And so I'll cut to this camera so they can see it a little better, the one I'm holding up. I'll cut back to you. Um, and very, very similar to, the, to, to your pair. Very, very similar. Yeah. these but of course completely different and it looks a bit shorter too yours yeah yeah because of the proportions i think yours look a little taller because they're narrower and did you hear what i learned about the ladies sizes oh that they're different well um, okay sizes? that you know that pair of boots that we had for you that were seven and a half d yeah okay d tells us that that's a men's size because woman's doesn't come in D. The Comes equivalent, in B. yeah, B, so 8B as in boy is the medium width for a lady's shoe. And on a man, it would be 8D is the medium width. So now okay. we know that, right? And so, you know, you learn something new every day. That's why those seven and a half D's are too big for you. Because those are men's, that's a men's size. So, but... But fortunately, this was, this is a woman's This is the size. correct size. This is a, and, and see, you're, there's the, the shape of the last is a little bit different. On the men's boots versus the ladies' boots. Because ladies' feet, feet are shaped differently. So they are different. And so, smaller. So, so, yeah. So you can't really, like, for example, a size 8 um, women's would probably be about a 6.5 men's. For men's. Like, like a 6.5 so D would be similar to a size 8 B. But similar is the key word there because the lasts are not the same. And so it might not fit right, even though it might be the same length, right? It might not fit right because of the shape. So anyway, we, we, you know, we learn more and more all the time. Uh, so that's why a lady can't really buy the men's size and expect it to work. They, they might get, you might. I mean, some of them are kind of unisex design. And so, yeah, you could get like a size six and a half men's and it might be the same as a size eight. And it might work, right? Keyword being might work. <laughs> right. So, so anyway, um, I hope they fit you. I think they will. They're, you yeah, know. Yeah, I can't wait to see it in person. Yeah, I, th I, th I, th I think they'll, move. I think they'll work because you said of the boat shoes that you have that are made in the USA, that the ones that are eight B, you have a pair that are eight B, right? Yes. Boat, boat shoes, and they fit right, correct? Yeah, they yeah. do. So, so, so yeah. yeah, just make sure you bring your insoles that we got. And you have shoe trees that we got also that are designed for boots, right? Yes, I do. The cedar trees? And bring those also. Yeah. So that we can make sure that they fit in there and everything. And we might need to get, get you another set of those so that you'll have a set for your hiking boots that fit you good. And a set for the cowboy boots. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Sounds good. So there you go. All right. Let, all right. Let's catch up on the comments. Are you looking at the comments too? Yes, I am. 
Okay. Um, all right, so I read that. Okay, here's T-Town. Okay, I read that one. I do agree with Carlos that the brown band and that it came on is really nice looking. I I put it on again. <laughs> well, we're going to let Bree make the decision. When she comes on Friday, uh, we're going to let her look and see what she thinks because, I, I, you know, she she'll be able to see it in person and decide if the brown strap is better than the black strap. I think the black one looks stunning myself, but we'll let her take a look. I trust her. Um, she well, both, both are good, but well, I think that gold really goes with the black strap. I think it pops more. It pops, yeah. I, I think it kind of softens the, the look with, when you put the brown on. It still looks good, but it softens it a little bit. This that like my hair like looks black. Yeah, and the, I'm white. Like your hair, your hair pops because it's dark now because it's wet and it's really dark. It makes it, it, it really contrasts, right? And it's true. so, um, yeah, I I think we'll see. We will see. Plus, I'm lazy. I don't want to take the time to switch it. <laughs> Once this one wears out, I'll put the brown one on. I'll uh, I'll, you know, satisfy you guys, oh, right? Did you do two? I well, the brown one came on the watch, and then I and then I got the folks from HD Straps sent me two straps, um, two uh, uh, crocodile straps, for the watch, and oh, so okay. I put one of those on, and yeah. And it's a HD strap, hdstraps.com. They're, they're fantastic. They did a really good job. And hopefully Steve's going to be stocking those at his place. i got to follow up with him on that and see what's going on. Um, okay, let's see what else we got here. Nowadays, compare a Sony A7 compared to a Leica and tell me which one feels like you're getting multi-thousand dollars worth of camera. Well, I tell you what, I can't wait to get the new A7S Mark III. Um, that new A7S camera, Brie, that they right. announced, that we're going to be able to shoot 120 frames a second in 4K, high quality, 120 frames a second in 4K. Imagine what we're going to be able to do with that with your dancing. Wow. And your hoop. So like better, um, like clarity, like. Well, it's gonna it's gonna be not only be clear and really high quality footage, but. 120 frames a second up until now with my current camera gear i can only shoot 30 frames a second in uh in 4k we can shoot 120 frames a second in 1080p which we've done but now right. we're going to be able to shoot 120 frames a second in 4k and so we're going to be able to do slow motion where we slow you down to one quarter speed and in full in full 4k and high quality 4K, not, you know, I mean, high bit rate, the real deal. So, we'll, I mean, as soon as that's available, I'll get a notification from uh, B&H Photo, and I'm going to lock and load on one of those puppies. Uh, the camera body's 3500 bucks, but it's going to be worth it. So, let's see what else we got here. Carlos says, I think Rolex has increased the quality of their products significantly. The aesthetic, the aesthetics can be debatable. There you go. Carl, they've always increased their quality over the years. They've, you know, constantly made things better, I think. John is in the house. Everyone stop talking about watches when this perfect woman appears on the screen. <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 she's interested. Um, yeah. Rolex cut down on decorating their 3235 movement compared to 3135. No more uh, pelage work on the base plate or balance bridge. Okay. Uh, she, no idea of that. I assume tech, technically is better, but I don't have a qualified opinion about that. Okay. And Rolex might have made the quality of their bracelets better, but they have been cost-cutting with the stuff you can't see, namely the movements, okay? Still is okay Still is okay to match shoes to watch strap. Both black and brown are necessary. Brie, watch Rolex. Brie, which Rolex bracelet do you like? Um, 
Does he mean color wise? Well, you like gold. I know that. <laughs> but no. Yeah, gold, yellow gold. <laughs> I would prefer yellow gold. But I think he's talking about the oyster bracelet versus the Jubilee bracelet. Remember we looked at some of those watches, like the, the watch that um, Leslie has, has the oyster bracelet on it. And then remember we looked at one recently that had the, I think it had diamonds on it too, that, that had a Jubilee bracelet, the okay. bracelet that has like more links to it. It's a little bit fancier looking. Um, I think you liked both though. You commented favorably yeah. on oh. both of them. And I'm the same way. I like both. I kind of lean towards the Jubilee, but you know, both are, are, are nice. And th that's what I like about the 231 bracelet, and I'm showing that right now on screen. The 231 has a bracelet that's kind of like a cross between the two. It's kind of got a little bit of extra bling to it, like a Jubilee, but it's got the look of a oyster. So, yeah. Um, let's see yeah, what else closer. we've got here. Um, and Mr. Q says it's okay to match shoes to watch strap. Yeah, you don't have to watch, you know, that can go, like you can wear a black belt and black shoes and a, and a brown watch strap, I think. I think you can do that. It's fine. Uh, it's okay, though, if they all match, that's fine, too. I would typically, if I've got a black strap on right now, since I do have a black uh, alligator belt and black shoes, I would probably wear black uh, just because I can, right? Uh, if I didn't have, uh, uh, you know, those, if I had a brown belt and brown shoes, I would, I would wear this with the black strap. It'd be fine. Black goes pretty much with everything. So there's that. Lady President yeah. bracelet. Yeah, that's what, that's what Brie likes. Absolutely. She's seen one. She, she absolutely likes that. Um, uh, Cheetown says Brie is sporty, so an oyster bracelet seems the right choice for her. She also can be very elegant, though. She can be both. Yeah, it can be both. <laughs> Best of both, both worlds. <laughs> well, there you go. That's right. And I, and I don't think anybody would argue with that. Brie is the top of the top. Talk about a solid 10. There you <laughs> go. And John's in the house. Uh, Rolex, gray market, previous model, sub prices are absolutely ridiculous right now. Okay. Um... Yeah, but, you know, who knows if those are actually selling. <laughs> People can ask all, all the ridiculous prices they want, but I'm not sure how many are actually selling. Mr. Q's in the house. He says, President Bracelet on a Tudor for Unique List. No, no, I don't think so. Cheetown's in the house. Some dealer is selling a 126610 date sub, uh, date sub 41 for 24K right now. Oh, so that's the new one, the 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 forty one millimeter. He's selling it for twenty four thousand. Uh, you're talking about a steel watch. Yeah, that would I would absolutely pass on that. A Chi Town's in the house, sporty yet elegant. So a presidential bracelet fits that bill. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely. Sure. All right. So what else do you think before we before we let you let you go? What what have you been doing? What today was uh, Arms Day, right? Yes. Did you do arms? And, and legs. Arms and legs. And did, did you do arms? I did. How many curls? So 25 curls, but I'm doing two sets, 25 mm -hmm. and 30 uh, repetitions for two sets. So you're doing a total of four sets. Yeah. You might need to get some heavier dumbbells. And up so that the way, would be less reps? Yeah, you, less? yeah, you'll probably do a little less reps until you work your way back up. That's what the, the way it works is, Bree, when you get to a certain point where you're doing a lot of reps, then you go to the heavier weight. And yeah, initially you'll be doing less reps, but as you get stronger, you'll work your way back up to the same number of reps, right? That's um, what happened the uh, 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. I had to get used to it, too. Yeah. And so what weight are you at right now? 10. Okay. So I guess uh, the next one will be try 15s. Can you try them at the store before you buy I them? Think, I think with the 15 is too heavy just to even do like five. 
So probably twelve and a half. Yeah, I think I think that. Do they make them twelve and a half? I can check, but I think I think they do. They should. Okay, because yeah, just it just goes just step up a little bit. Um, all right, let's see. Um, and John says, Bree, just have to tell you, you're absolutely stunning. There you go. Well, yeah. Thank you. I mean, if you check her website, BreeFitDance.com, check it out. She's got some photos on there. She is pretty amazing. Uh, let's oh, Flickr. I have a lot of the photos. Where? Flickr. Um, Flickr. Flickr. Yeah. Okay. So, and you have links to all of that on your website. Right. Yeah. Briefitdance.com. Yes. Uh, let's see. And John says, I'm actually shocked the prices have remained pretty stable through the whole pandemic. I did have a dealer text me and ask me if I was interested in being on the sub list, which was weird. Well, you know, uh, Steve's business has been good throughout the whole pandemic. You know, what's happened? I'll tell you what's also happened during the pandemic is the rich have gotten richer and the poor have gotten poorer. So the people that were, were struggling are, are really getting hit hard by this thing, whereas the wealthy are doing better than ever. And so right. those are the people that are buying Rolexes in the first place, is the people that are relatively affluent. And so, yeah, it would make sense that, that uh, those are still selling. But that could change. That could change. We'll see what happens as th as time moves forward. Um, well, they're starting to open up um, businesses, like small businesses. Yeah, um, well, and hopefully... Yeah, hope and schools will open up to next semester. Yeah. And this semester, too, some, some schools. Yeah, well, hopefully it won't be but, too late. Hopefully some of those businesses, you know, because a lot of businesses have been hurt so bad that they may not be able to open up. So, But we'll see. I mean... Yeah, or um, just there's been a lot of yeah a lot of problems with that, but we'll see what happens. All right, well we we don't want to go on a negative subject here. So okay, so uh, you did the arms, and what did you do for legs? I uh, went walking and the sprints. Okay, so uh, you did some and then sprints. swimming, swimming too. Okay, you can use. I did. <clears throat> the labs, swimming labs. And Kevin says, how is the show coming along? Oh, yeah, I'm getting ready for it. I'm starting okay. to type in some stuff that I think I'm going to say. And, yeah, just outline it. And it's going to be your first be time using the studio and the switcher and everything. And so... Oh, yeah, I need a lot of practice with that, too. You know, it might be a little bit you know interesting right but there has to be a first yeah. time for everything that's true mm -hmm. so Just you'll need to get some practice and experience yeah you'll we'll 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 train you up on it a little bit before you go live so that you know what what buttons to push and all that sort of thing <laughs> yeah so um <laughs> let's really see john says cheat town california i guess that makes sense okay uh, oh, oh, he said, Cheetown said, um, there's no incentive to buy a new car and no, there's no incentive to buy a new car and no vo vo vacations to book. So the extra money goes to watches. Yes, yeah, Steve made that comment that since people aren't spending money on expensive travel, some of them are, are spending the money on watches instead. <laughs> so, oh. yeah. That's, I guess that's a possibility for sure. All right. Well, is there anything you want to demonstrate for us before we let you go? Um, not really. <laughs> I don't have any, um, I don't have my hoop here. And I'm just wearing a dress. Okay. So. I thought you were going to say you, you weren't wearing anything on, on, <laughs> on, the, on, uh, on the bottom so you couldn't stand up. Because that's what some people do when they do shows. Oh, no. it's, it's like a dress. Some people don't wear pants, right? You're you're wearing something. Okay. Oh, so that whole thing's a dress. Yeah. Oh, well, let us see. The stand back. Let us see the whole thing. That's cool. Okay. 
Yeah, that's nice. That's cute. There you go. Well, yeah, that's nice. It's, I'm sure it's very comfortable too, right? It is comfortable. Yeah. I can see your, your, your um, triceps there on, this, on the back oh, of your arm. Okay. Yeah, they were straighten your arm. Straighten your arm so you can really see the bicep. Now, like, move your wrist like this. See that? When you, when you move your wrist, see how you can see it? That, how it bulges out on the side? That's called the, oh, yeah. that's the, that's the tricep on the back. That you get, right, you, you strengthen that tricep with push-ups. Yeah. The, bi the bicep is on the front right here. And then right. the tricep is the back. Right. And I could see it, it was, it was sticking out there. So you're definitely doing those push-ups. That's what strengthens those is the push-ups. And like around the chest yeah it helps bit. you it helps the chest it helps your triceps it helps a lot of things the push-ups yeah it does. by the way i think you have to okay john's asking how tall are you you're about five five right five five okay and let me th see what else here okay we're getting a bunch of comments here let me get caught up there's <laughs> also a whole investment nonsense going on with a lot of watches so money gets parked there too yeah more and more people i hear them talking about what investing in watches and i think that's not going to end well for them but anyway kevin's in the house craig is a vintage stainless steel date just a bad idea i i would rather go with a six digit date just personally get a lot of the newer features and something that would be easier to service and things like that. I, I, I'm just nervous about going too old on those. Uh, John's in the house. Craig, do you think it's smart to buy a new Lexus ES in the next few years? I wouldn't. I would buy a 10-year-old Lexus LS sedan, like an LS460. That's what I would buy and call it a day for, for about the same money or less money. Well, a lot less money than a new uh, ES, yeah. Um, this is Skype, not Zoom. That's correct. <clears throat> and Scott says, hello, Craig and Kevin. Uh, let's see. Um, T-Town says, Alexis is probably the only brand new luxury car I would buy, but I don't buy new cars, so I'd have no horse in that race. Yeah, well, see, the thing is, if you buy an LS sedan 10 years old, they don't sell that well because everybody wants the SUVs. And so you can get a pretty decent deal on a 10-year-old LS sedan, and then you get, you get the top of the top. You get, like, just a fantastic vehicle. Get one that's garage kept, one owner, extremely low mileage, like that. That's what you do. Um, okay, what else? There was something I was going to say, and then I got distracted. Um, hmm, what was it? It was something. Um... Now I can't remember. Uh, okay, I guess that's it. Um, there was something that, maybe, it, was it something about you? I think it was something about Brianna. But I can't remember now. <laughs> oh, and Tim says, when I tense my triceps, they don't tense up but flop. <laughs> what is your advice, Bri? I think do push-ups, Tim. <laughs> Oh, I know what I was going to say. I remember we were talking about the push-ups. Okay. This oh, is yeah. bad news for you, Bree. I oh, was wow. listening to jo Joe Rogan, and he was interviewing Mike Tyson. You know, Joe Rogan, his podcast is one of the most popular podcasts out there. And he was interviewing Mike Tyson, who is in his 50s now. And, you know, he was the heavyweight boxing champion of the world, you know, a couple times or whatever just a killer boxer. I mean, he, he, could, he could knock people out with one punch, right? And he's making yeah. a comeback now. And, and he was talking about his workout regimen. And, okay. I mean, he works out, like, all day, every day. You know what he does when he gets up, when he gets started at, like, 5.30 in the morning? What? He runs four miles. <laughs> that's, how he, that. that's how he gets started. <laughs> and and wow. then the rest of his day is like, you know, all kinds of like working out and, and hitting the bag and sparring and, and weights and all kinds. I mean, just 
pushing, 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 like all day long. And oh so um, I think we're going to have to increase your workout regimen. Okay. I think you're going to have to work out if even speed that then sure yeah like to be world class to be like just absolutely incredible i mean you're already incredible but just to take it to that whole like stratosphere special level right sure yeah i believe in that there you go so all right well we're going to get started on friday right Friday. Are you are you are you are you scared? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna do but good. We'll, we'll get used to it. You're gonna do good. You're gonna do good. Okay. All right, and you're gonna have a fantastic show, and all that. And oh, I have Kyle and Leslie coming on. In, so. All right, because you have a segment with them. And what you want to do in that segment, on that document you're working on, put in there the questions you're going to ask them, because you're going to be interviewing them, right? So come up with some interesting right. interesting questions to ask them. Okay. And um, One of them would be Leslie's Rolex watch that I want to talk about. Yeah. Just make yeah. some notes. And don't tell anybody now. Don't don't let the cat out of the bag. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and just put it on the document there so you have it, so you have your notes. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll have that document up on the iPad or maybe on your iPhone or something. Well, maybe maybe you can keep an eye on the chat on your iPhone and put the document on the iPad so that you can have sure. the document in front of you and the chat. So we'll figure that out, the best way to do that. Um, maybe we'll have your laptop here uh, here, also. So you can have something on that also. Yeah. yeah. Laptop works. It's going to be very, very sophisticated. <laughs> yes. All right. The lovely, la the lovely lady Bree, BreeFitDance.com, BreeFitDance.com. Follow her. Be there or be square. That's what I say. And, and if you want to really become a VIP, become a Patreon. Become a Patreon. Okay, Patreon. got a couple more questions here. and then we're, Oh, by the way, folks, put any questions in here uh, for Bree because I'm going to let her go here in a minute. But, okay, let's catch up on these um, comments. Scott says, I have, to be stuck on the, I have to be stuck on the Lexus being a, a Jew. I never support German. Okay, gotcha. The boys, uh, okay. Well, the Lexus is a better bet anyway. It's a better car anyhow. So, yeah, that's always a good move. And, the, and you'll love the LS sedan. The LS 460 is what I would recommend. Mr. Q's in the house. Platinum Rolex is better for Brie. Will help increase the weight on the bicep curls for the ultimate definition. Yeah, but Brie loves yellow gold, though. So I think we're going to have to go with yellow gold for a lovely Bree. Um, Chi Town's in the house. Bree doesn't exactly sound thrilled about running four miles every morning. <laughs> well, oh, I wasn't well. thrilled about the push ups, but I still did it. That's right. There you go. <laughs> she's, she, she may not be thrilled, but she's willing to work hard for what she gets. And she's seeing results, right? You're seeing results. Results, yes, definitely. Yeah. So there you go. And your, so hoop, we, your hooping is getting better. We're seeing results there. Your practice is paying off there. I mean, it, it's paying off. So, yeah. And Tim's in the house. Bree, what will be the theme for the show? Well, she's still working uh -huh. on the whole outline of the show. But it's really, it's, it's like your world, right? It's all about Bree and what you're doing and your guests and... and you know, it, it's uh, Just helping out. fitness. Yeah. You're going to talk about Give fitness, health, beauty, dance. A lot of positive, good things, right? Yeah. I think. I think it's yeah. going to be a great show. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> I'm going to watch live, absolutely. I'll be relaxing in the theater room and watching. Uh, let's see. Um... 
Looking forward to it, Bree, says Kyle. John says, Craig, what would you do if one of these peaceful protesters threw a brick through your Prius window? Uh, first of all, I wouldn't be around the, the peaceful protesters because I don't go around a bunch of losers. He's talking about the rioters when he says peaceful protesters. That's the reason why he put it in quotes, Bree. He's talking about the rioters. So oh, yeah. I wouldn't be around the rioters in the first place. But if somebody assaulted me like that or whatever, um, it probably wouldn't end well for them. I'd probably deal with them fairly severely. Uh, I would carry a pepper spray. Yeah, yeah. So, and I, and I, and I might, and it might be more than just pepper spray. But anyway, okay. yeah, and I, I would, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't want to be them if they attacked me. I'll put it that way. Chi Towns in oh, the wow. house says, um, as a man who doesn't like pouring money into a hole, I can't support a German car company either. <laughs> and um, I am with peace, John Shalom. Okay. Ha ha. And uh, let's see. Prote uh, uh, John, prost protesters, uh, protesters throat would have been cut before the brick leaves his hand, <laughs> says Carlos. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> Carlos is amazing. Uh, Carlos, my, uh, f okay. Um, and Carlos says that Scott, I love, love you too. Okay. All right. So I think we're caught up Bree and I will show your website before right. I wrap up the show and thanks for calling in. And, and one more time before we wrap, um, you think you'll be able to model the boots? Oh yeah, definitely take a lot of pictures. Oh, by the way, I don't. I couldn't find a picture of you in the other boots. Do you still have it? Oh yes, yes, I still have it. Okay. Um, but we should take some new, new. We should take new photos with you in in those boots too, in the hiking boots and those other boots that we're going to sell. The, sure. The stingray ones. Okay. Pair of them. We'll take some more pictures of you in those too, and then we'll put those puppies on eBay and get them sold. Get you some more Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin as well. It's appreciated. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, thanks for calling in. That's the lovely Bree. And Derek says, wait here. Thank you. And we can't wrap up. I'm not going to wrap up quite yet, but we're going to let Bree go because you guys, you had your chance to put the question in the chat, uh, Derek, for Bree, but you didn't. So there you go. And Carlos <laughs> says, that's Scott. Yes, but long time ago. I hardly remember. Uh, should I rewatch? Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Lady Brianna. All right. Thank you. Have a great rest of this holiday weekend. You too. Thank you. All right. That's how that works. The lovely Lady Bree calling into the show. And uh, let's see. Let's see if we've got any uh, emails to check before we wrap this puppy up. And we're gonna. We promised I would show her website, and I will. I absolutely will. Okay, we've got no, uh, no emails. <clears throat> and let's see what else. It's not the hour yet. Here, I did start early. You got to come in. You got to come in early. It's 5:59 p.m. By the way, I'm not wrapping up early. I'm wrapping up on time. And. That's how that works. And let's show the lovely Lady Bree's website. Let's do a time check first. See, that proves it's coming up on, uh, on 6 o'clock straight up. See when that, see that sweeping second hand? When that hits 6 o'clock, see that? Right about there. See, there you go. There you go. That's what it is. It's 6 o'clock, officially. So, okay, so let's show Bree's website, the lovely BreeFitDance.com. BreeFitDance.com. Find all the links to her social media there. She's a real person. You just saw her. She's real. Absolutely, she's real. And Chi Town's in the house. Craig, you know, uh, you know, you know how you find Android a bag of hurt. You'll love this one. Yeah, Android is a bag of hurt. Uh, Cheat Town, and that's what uh, <laughs> Steve Jobs said. 
and he was right. My Pixel 3's charging point went bad. I took it into a repair center and the OEM parts supplier send them a replacement USB port and that one is, is faulty too. <laughs> oh, jeez. That doesn't surprise me. Doesn't surprise me one bit. I'll tell you, I had a great experience. I, I mentioned to you guys uh, with the uh, iPhone. I took my iPhone 10. I had an appointment down at Apple, down in Montgomery Mall, and went down, and they replaced the battery in it, and it was like $69 with tax. And they did a great job, and it works great. It's about three years old, and so the battery was due to be replaced anyway. And it was swelling, right? And so they replaced it, and now it's just as good as new again, and I'm going to use it probably for another three years. I love the phone. I have no reason to uh, no reason to change it out. And that's, you know, iPhones are solid. Sure, the battery failed, but, you know, that's, that's normal after three years. Uh, let's see. Craig is not early or late. He's always on time, thanks to his high, highly... Precise watches and great discipline, says Carlos. Trump 2020, says Clive. I'm reading as many of these comments as I can before I wrap up here. Uh, and we're showing Bree's website while I'm doing it. See, that's called multitasking. Uh, Kevin's in the house. Craig, before you jet, can you drop an update on the Bitcoin market? Did you pick up some coin? I'm waiting to see where the bottom is. I don't think we've seen the bottom yet on this pullback. So I'm waiting, and I might pick up some more, yes, if I can kind of determine when I think the bottom is in. I don't think it's in yet, but uh, yes, I'm keeping a sharp eye on it, and I might snatch maybe one more, one Bitcoin, and stash it away. I'm not going to go crazy, but maybe buy one more. Uh, Mr. Q's in the house, Ivanka 2028. There you go. There you go. Absolutely, I would support Ivanka. Yeah. She's pretty amazing. Clive's in the house. Uh, I mean, due to, okay. Cheetown says, and the brand new Pixel 4a overheats while video calling, just like the old ones. Oh, that's not good. Cheetown says, this is the last Pixel I will buy. Yeah, go, go iPhone. You don't need all those headaches. Go iPhone. Derek's in the house. I was here on time. We should go longer today. <laughs> Megan's in the house. Hey, Craig, I'm just two minutes late today. <laughs> Megan in the house. Hello. We're just wrapping up, Megan. You're just in time for the wrap-up. Uh, let's see. Al says, uh, great job tonight. Have a great time as always. Stay safe, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. And Megan's got the, the, the muscle, the, the strong arm. There you go. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. We're going to wrap this puppy up. Wrap it up.